Warner, listen, have you seen... I I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. An English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad.
Yep. Please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. <laughs> Well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Horns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just not the old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. 
one of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons, I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. There really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Trying to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. about them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey, hold it right there. Yeah. What you want, boy? I've, uh, I've. There, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, 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 before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, when they said they was looking for more drivers in town, I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. 
Reminds me of one of them big houses there, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest place. <laughs> <sighs> How are you getting on? Good. Here they got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys do you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Someone coming on the left. Huh. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. That's good for here. That should do it.
I'm gonna douse this too. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! After you, sir. Would you look at that? Haha, <laughs> now let's go light ourselves a fat cigar. You ain't leaving here! What do you deal with these fellas? You keep warning them. Somebody shoot them already! Got our money's worth, Ollie. Right. Let's just get out of here first. I think we lost them. That 
we dare. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. <laughs> Okay. You okay, Billy? Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't. But we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've got to take. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. 
As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. I've been fighting Cone for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, doubting Tom. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had. Pinkerton's coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts? And O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look. You ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us. Hmm? Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Hey, up there, men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Man created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth it. believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner.
Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? A sense. <clears throat> Handing them over to the law, it's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Coleman's right, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd Cop? He's escaping, shoot him! Relax! Relax, I got it. <clears throat> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, of course not. Uh, not yet. But I will. <laughs> Put his weapons over there! Let me go, Cole, and end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. 
<laughs> Arthur, I missed you. <laughs> What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef.
My dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He was gonna set the law on us. No, oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. I got you. You're safe now. Yeah, that's pretty. Tough. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, Reverend. Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Thank you. 